Good morning and welcome to CDT day 67. I'm in beautiful Colorado Springs with some excellently beautiful weather. The sun is out and the air is warm and I'm walking a dog. That is Daphne, Jess's dog. Oh, well, yeah, Jess and Mark's, but mo mostly Jess's baby. And then uh, Mark has uh, Ranger, the other dog. And uh, taking them out for their morning walk. And we are going to uh, do some traveling, hit some cool roads, and see some beautiful stuff before we hop out of Colorado Springs. And these awesome people are taking me all the way back to the trailhead at Monarch Pass. So I am really looking forward to that. And uh, it's going to be a good day. So. We'll get to it. Then we had to go through and get the link for my Instagram post and my screenshot for the Night Records and then just trying to submit all of it. I get paid! So Mark enough was kind enough to uh, take me to Walmart so I got my resupply for the next section and it's a big one. Uh, about five to seven days, so I have to plan for seven, and what you're looking at is probably eight or more days of food just from what I ended up buying. But uh, in terms of meals, I got four mashed potato packets, and with those, we'll go some gravy and some bacon bits. And then um, for protein, I have uh, three of the big bags of white meat chicken and a big old bag of beef jerky. So those will go right into the potatoes. They go into my ramen, which I have five packets of, stuff like that, just to add some protein to them. I also have six packets of Northsides. So uh, those are for all these together <clears throat> is about 15 or 16 um uh, meals. So if I have two a day, lunch and dinner, that's about eight days worth right there. Uh, I got some snacky stuff, a couple things of pop tarts, some sour night crawlers, honey bun. That was all hiker box stuff that I got when I was still in Salida, so it works out pretty well. Uh, breakfast stuff. I got an entire jar of peanut butter. I've got all these carnation breakfast essentials. I think uh, is a pack of like ten of them, so I can probably have about two a day and be fine with that. And then I got the mega pack of Nature Valley protein bars. So I got 15 of those, so I can have two or three a day. And then uh, some electrolytes to throw into my water. So just some extra stuff there. So that is my resupply for this next section. And I'll probably be showing up with like, you know, still like a quarter of it left when I get to town, but I'd rather be safe than sorry out there because running out of food would suck. All right, well, I'm uh, back on trail now from Monarch Pass. Uh, Mark and Jess just dropped me off at the pass about an hour ago and uh, just getting into hiking so um, a lot of snow already which is a little unfortunate but I can already tell that the snow level is a lot lower than when I was here about uh, five days to a week ago so that's pretty solid and uh, just trying to get to camp before uh, sunset so that's the plan. I am also currently sick. Um, I don't know what happened, but like, I guess two, two and a half days ago, uh, had some food, had some drinks, um, nothing too crazy with Mark and Jess, and then woke up around 3 a.m., like, stomach in a ton of pain, and just had to uh, throw up in the middle of like 3 a.m., and you know, all the other stuff that comes with that. So, I don't know if it's, uh, Altitude sickness, because I dropped about 5,000 feet between the trail into Colorado Springs. <laughs> and then now I'm back up. <clears throat> I don't know if it's uh, food poisoning from the dinner I ate, or if I just have some giardia or the a bug, something like that. 
Either way, I don't know what I have, but it's been going on for about two days now, and I'm still dealing with it right now. So getting just this mile walk from Monarch Pass to camp tonight was pretty tough. I was really, really tired, lethargic, nauseous, and right now I'm fighting the urge to throw up. So <clears throat> I had my like 30th bathroom break for the day, and now I'm going to uh, just get in my tent and try to sleep off the urge to throw up because I have... I didn't eat all day yesterday, and I was on a liquid diet today until I had some dinner. So I really need to keep that dinner down if I want any nutrients to power me through tomorrow. So we will see how I feel in the morning. If I still feel like crap, I'm probably just going to have to bail off of this route. <clears throat> in 0.4 miles, there's a forest road that takes you back to the highway. And I'll just have to hang out in Salida or something for a couple days till this passes over. But uh, for now, I'm hoping that I wake up tomorrow morning and everything's uh, a bit better and I can just keep pushing. So we'll see how that goes. But on another note, I think we're in for a pretty chilly night. I'm pretty cold right now. It's a little after 9. And uh, it's a little breezy up here. <laughs> but absolutely gorgeous. So that's good. And we'll have a beautiful sunrise in the morning on the mountains. I'm sure I'll capture for you. <clears throat> so yeah, just trying to fight off the sickness and see how that goes. Yeah, you might notice that it's a bit sunnier right now, even though it's supposed to be evening. That's because I'm currently on the next day. Um, <clears throat> didn't finish my video last night because I was feeling pretty sick, very nauseous. So looking at my phone was uh, kind of a hindrance. So I just fell asleep to try to stave that off. So um, we'll consider that the end of CDT day 67, a one mile day on trail, but um, an excellent time in Colorado Springs with my excellent hosts and really good friends, Mark and Jess. So thank you guys so much for your amazing help with that. And um, Jess has a really cool Instagram. If you guys want to check it out, it's at Bruno Gang Travels. So you should definitely check them out because they're... Uh, really cool so that's uh that's it i got uh, some photos i believe so check those out and we'll see you tomorrow